Today on MTG Unpacked, we're going to crack open an Armin Cat Deck Builders Toolkit. So we've actually opened a whole bunch of Deck Builders Toolkits over the years from the newer sets, but we never got stuck into one of these. So let's check it out. So we have 125 semi-randomized cards, four 15 card booster packs from recent Magic the Gathering sets as of 2017. 100 basic land cards, including 25 full arts, deck builder's guide to building the best magic decks, quick reference card, and storage box. Okay, so let's get stuck into it. And these guys will be doing the pack blessing. So we have Liliana and Gideon there. So let's crack it open. So I picked this one up for about 24 bucks from Amazon. Uh, you actually, if you're a newer player, I would uh, not worry about this. I would go for a Core Set 2020 Deck Builders Toolkit because that has the current standard cards in it. So that will have similar sort of things. Yeah, so you get a similar booklet. So we'll take a look at this near the end of the video. But let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we've got some older packs. So we have Armand Ket, Oath of the Gatewatch, Kaladesh, and Aether Revolt. So we'll do the pack blessings like so, and hopefully we will get the crazy pulls. Okay, so let's set that aside, dig into the box. Okay, so we've got a bunch of lands, some other cards there. I think those are the basic lands. Okay, a reference card. And a nifty storage box. So if you're starting out, these deck builders toolkits are a great way to get started in magic. If you want to learn how to build decks, and usually these have a bunch of useful info. So for the newer players out there, get this handy quick reference card, casting spells, a bit about basic lands, and how to set up how to win parts of a turn. So check it out, they usually have these in uh, most of the bundles and deck builders toolkits. And then what is this thing? Okay, so this is, oh, okay, five colours of magic. So we have white, blue, black, red and green. So here is the colour pie with some planeswalkers, how to build a deck. So sort your cards, find your key cards, explore your options, focus your deck. So you'll usually want to have a theme or some sort of combo or something you're doing there. Add your lands, play and refine your deck. That's a key point. So if you throw together some random cards, your deck is probably not going to work that great. So there is a bit of strategy involved there. And we'll look at this thing later in the video. I'm wondering if there's useful info in that. And then we'll crack the packs closer to the end of the video. Okay, so... We've got a whole stack of lands. So let's zip through the basics to get started here. So plains, island, swamp, mountain, forest. So as you can see, get a stack of those. That will be how you build your mana base. And then we have these, what are known as non-basic lands, which means they're usually dual color and they have some special abilities here. So for second century enters tapped, you can tap it for white or black. Highland Lake enters tapped, tap it for blue or red. Get a couple of those, another one of those. Fail Orchard, so green and black. I think you get the idea, red and white, we've got a green and blue, so you can actually have multicolored decks up to five colors. So we've got a Submerged Boneyard, Cinder Barons, a couple of those, Timber Gorge, Tranquil Expanse, and Meandering River. Okay, so those are most useful in dual color decks. And you'll notice they're all entering tapped. The more expensive cards will not enter tapped. So that's something to pay attention to. Usually those are rares. We've got these cards named Shocklands as well. Okay, so ton of extra lands. So these aren't the full art. By full art, I mean 
the whole card face is taken up by the artwork. So yeah, a bunch of these. We won't count them out. Not terribly exciting. Okay, so what is this about? Okay, so we have an Evolving Wilds. This is a fairly common card. Tap, sack it, search your library for basic land card, put it onto Battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. Okay, so now we're getting on to the actual cards here. So looking at the rarity here, just a plain black color, that is a common. So this is Sweatworks Brawler, Fire Forge's Puzzle Knot, Embral Gear Smasher, Implement of Combustion, Welder Automaton. And okay, now we move on to the uncommons, so sort of a silver color there. Watchers of the Dead, Inventor's Apprentice, Enraged Giant, Snare Thopter, Servo Schematic. And back to the Evolving Wilds, okay, Cartouche of Knowledge, those were fun back in the day, Videlcom Blade Master, Hieroglyphic Illumination, Dune Beetle, Cartouche of Ambition, Prakada Pillarbug. So you'll see that the symbol is a little different, so we have cards from Kaladesh and Armanket, probably Aether Revolt and what was the other one here, Oath of the Gatewatch as well, so Keep an eye on those, and none of these cards are legal in the standard format anymore, but they are legal in other formats. Edifice of Authority, Trial of Knowledge, Trial of Ambition, Stir the Sands, and this is some disgusting artwork here. Love it. Evolving Wilds, Compulsory Rest, Those Who Serve, Dawn Feather Eagle, okay, so this is a different symbol again, Aether Revolt, you can see the... Uh, Set name is usually in the corner on the newer cards. Prey Upon, Nanam Cobra, Shed Weakness, and another uncommon here, Fairgrounds Warden, Thopter Arrest, Arborback Stomper, Manglehorn, another Evolving Wild, so I like to separate things out with that card. Augmenting Automaton, Implement of Malice, Dundoperative, Welder Automaton, Sweatworks Brawler again, Welding Sparks, Embral, Bruiser, Unlicensed Disintegration, Enrage Giant, and Inventor's Apprentice. So I'm thinking you'll probably get these identical cards here if you were to pick one of these up. And what else do we have here? We actually have some rares. Those are the ones with the silver symbol there. So, okay, this is quite a big pile. So. We'll pay more attention to the rares. Okay, what do we get? Victory's Herald. This is a creature angel 4-4 four, four for 6. So I'm just counting up the values there. So 3 plus another 3 of white. And it's from the 2017 Welcome Decks. Flying. This creature can't be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach. And whenever it attacks, attacking creatures gain flying and lifelink until end of turn. So damage dealt by those creatures also causes you to gain that much life. Next we have a Sphinx of Magosi. So Sphinxes are a common thing in magic. Creature Sphinx, 6-6-4, 6-mana with flying. Pay 2 and a blue. Draw a card, then put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. Okay, so we're got, probably going to get a, a rare in each colour here by the look of it. Nightmare, Creature Nightmare Horse, Star Star. What on earth is that for 6? So it has flying, okay, so it's power and toughness are each equal to the number of swamps you control. So you can imagine that gets more and more powerful the more lands you have. Shivan Dragon, here's a classic creature dragon, 5-5 five, five for 6 with flying. Pay your red, it gets plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn, so you're adding that to the power and toughness. Garrick's Horde, creature beast, 7-7 seven, seven for 7 mana. So they have a lot of huge beasts in the green colour. This has Trample, so that means it can do access combat damage to defending player or planeswalker while attacking. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may cast the top card of your library if it's a creature card. And a little tip there, you can read those, often helpful. Okay, so moving on to Uncommons here with the silver colour. Sarah Angel, that's another classic. Stormfront Pegasus, Avery Mechanic. So onto some commons here, Fanbearer, Standing Troops, Graceful Cat, Divine Verdict, 
And you might notice there are certain tribal themes here. So maybe there'll be a couple of cats. There are a bunch of cats in Armanket. So you could build a cat deck if you wanted. Fragmentize, inspired charge. So pumping creatures, that's something to pay attention to. Compulsory rest. Air elemental, angler drake. Nimble innovator, stealer of secrets, leave in the dust. Tricks of the trade, negate, malfunction. Essence Scatter, Revolutionary Rebuff, Sengir Vampire, there's a classic card there. Gifted Aetherborn, this is actually still a good one these days in Modern and in Commander I guess as well. Tattered Mummy, a couple of those guys, Bloodhunter Bat, Painful Lesson, Daring Demolition, Untamed Hunger, and that is that half, let's continue here. With Supernatural Stamina, Raise Dead, Brazen Scourge, Creature Goblin. I would probably want to build a Goblin deck, or not Goblin, sorry, Gremlin deck, but I would want to build a Goblin deck if they had any here. Hungry Flames, Thundering Giant, Bloodlust Insider, Spireside Infiltrator, Cathartic Reunion, Hijack, Fling, Shock, Get a couple of those, that's good in the red aggro decks. Arborback Stomper, Blossoming Defense, Druid of the Cowl, a couple of those. Root Dweller, Stalking Tiger, speaking of cats, here you go. Wild Wanderer, Greater Sandworm, Wing Snare, Oaken Form, Filigree Familiar, Renegade Map, a couple of those. Night Market Guard. Renegade Freighter and Vehicles are a thing in Aether Revolt and Kaladesh. So they have this concept you can crew them, so tapping any number of creatures you control with total power, two or more. And this becomes an artifact creature until end of turn, which is when this kicks in, the power and toughness. And an Iron Tread Crusher. So some people hate the vehicles, others love them. Leave a note in the comments if you're a fan of the vehicles. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to crack a few packs, look at this, and then crack a few more. Starting off here with Armand Ket. So hopefully the blessings, um, actually some of these, all of these packs I should say, have special lottery cards potentially. So we're looking for invocations out of Armand Ket. We have Bloodlust Inciter, Sacred Cat, there we go, if you want to build a cat deck. Compelling Argument, Blighted Bat, Haze of Pollen, Emberhorn Minotaur, Those Who Serve, Scribe of the Mindful, Supernatural Stamina, we saw that one earlier, Stinging Shot, Uncommon's Kenra Charioteer, True Heart Duelist, Scaled Behemoth, it's a giant croc, with Hexproof, Fantastic and the Rare, is Harvest Season, so this is a Sorcery for Three, Search your library for updates, basic land cards, where X is the number of tap creatures you control, and put those cards onto the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle your library, and the planes, and a zombie token. And no special lottery cards here, alas. Okay, let's try Oath of the Gatewatch. So these also have the special lottery cards known as Expeditions, so we're looking for those. We see something really shiny, that could be one. There could also be some just foils, regular foils here. We have Mackindy Aeronaut, Umara Entangler, Consuming Sinkhole, Zulaport Chain Mage, Natural State, Witness the End, Sweep Away, Sears Lantern, Oblivion Strike, Spawnbinder Mage, and Uncommon's Timber Gorge. So there's one of those dual lands again. Cyclone Sire. Iona's Blessing and a Mythic, yes, pay attention, the orange-red colour there, it's more of an orange I should say, is a Mythic, these are the rarest of all, although they're not always that valuable, Linvala the Preserver, Legendary Creature Angel 5-5 five, five for 6 with flying, when enters the battlefield if an opponent has more life than you, you gain 5 life, nice. And when it enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more creatures than you, put a 3-3 white angel creature token with flying onto the battlefield. So this is probably what you would want to do if you were building an angel deck at the time. Okay, and a full art forest, very nice. And an elemental token, alas, no expeditions there. Okay, so let's take a look at the booklet now. Discover the world of Magic the Gathering by Mark Cruz, what a magic head designer. Okay. 
So, hello fellow magic player. Alright. So, play free now. It's talking about magic jewels, but at the time of this filming, the new hotness is Magic Arena, or MTG Arena I should say. So download that, check it out, a lot of fun. So social media, a couple of links there, Daily MTG. Your local magic community awaits. I'm not seeing any deck building tips here. The Magic Tournament Experience. See the world's best compete. The stories of magic. Planes, planeswalkers. Okay, so they're giving you all sorts of background info. Uh, story is your story. Thank you. Yeah, so I would say this book is pretty useless. Um, if you get some of the newer deck builders toolkits, they have much more useful little books about how to actually go about building a deck, even better than this thing here. Okay, so let's move on. Ether of Alt. So looking for the inventions here. So both that and Kaladesh have these lottery cards inventions. Hopefully we can pull one of those. We have Frontline Rebel, Dispersal Technician, Dawn Feather Eagle. Embral Gear Smasher, Renegades Getaway, Silk Weaver Elite, Augmenting Automaton, Ether Inspector, Implement of Examination, Aegis Automaton, and Uncommon's Ornithopter, Renegade Will Smith, Enrage Giant, and the rare is Piers Revolution. Enchantment 3, whenever a non token artifact is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, return that card to your hand. Unless target opponent has Piers Revolution, deal 3 damage to him or her. Nice, so you give them a choice, they either take the damage or they let you get your card back. And a forest and a servo token. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Moving on to Kaladesh. Actually, this one is a favourite by a lot of people. Leave a note in the comments if you are a huge Kaladesh fan. Okay, we have Vidalcan Blademaster, Ruinous Gremlin! Here's the Gremlins again, up to Mischief, Herald of the Fair, High Tide Hermit, Appetite for the Unnatural! <laughs> Mind Rot, yes! If you watch too many videos on this channel, you will rot your mind! And you'll discard two cards. The only known cure, as far as I've been able to determine, is watching even more videos. And the regulars will know how that works out for them, won't they? Workshop Assistant, Hunt the Weak, Torch Gauntlet, Dund Operative, and Uncommon's Beaumont Bazaar Barge, Arborback Stomper, Girapur Guide, and the rare is Pianala, Legendary Creature Human Artificer 223. When PNLR enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 color stop the artifact creature token with flying. Pay 1 on a red target artifact creature gets plus 1 plus 0 on end of turn. For 1 second artifact, target creature can't block this turn. Okay, and a swamp. And a thop the token. No craziness there. Alright, so would I recommend the Armanket Deck Builders Toolkit? It was probably okay at the time it came out in 2017. Um, I don't think it's that useful these days. Pick up the Corset 2020 bundle instead. I'll pop a link up in the corner to that video so you can check it out. The booklet for that was much better than this. And it's also cheaper than this because this is an older set so it's going to cost more. So check that out. Let me know what you think of the Deck Builders Toolkits in the comments. Did you use one of these back in the day to learn about deck building? And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.